Hello again, I'm Dustin Kirkland. I'm joined now by Yoshi Tomura, product manager at Google, and we are here to talk about GVisor. So GVisor, brand new, just open sourced this week at KubeCon here in Copenhagen. Give me the highlights of that announcement. Yes, so Google Cloud just announced GVisor. It is a new open source uh, sandbox technology for container isolation. Um, it is a very lightweight, yet provide a very strong uh, isolation compared to various existing approaches. Interesting. So you said it's new. It's new to the open source community. This is technology that's been in use at Google for quite some time, right? Correct. Um, we have been using GVisor at Google for a while, and uh, we're very excited to share the technology and also the knowledge that we gain from there. Yeah, so why are, why are we, Google, open sourcing this project now? It is mainly because of uh, container adoption. Uh, Docker, Kubernetes, now a lot of people are using containers. And the more people use containers, we started seeing a lot of new use cases, most especially, especially like multi-tenancy, where there's one cluster with different type of groups or even customers. Now, the container isolation, because more important in this kind of situation, we believe that uh, open source and GVisor, uh, which is a new proposal uh, to the open source community, could advance the technology in this uh, container isolation space. So it's really about the security. It's about sandboxing yes. some containers, yes. all containers, some uh, containers? Specifically, on if you, you could sp if definitely specify, but if you specify that you want stronger isolation for a particular container, yes, you can actually do this. Yeah, and how strong is this isolation? Is it as strong as a VM? Uh, we believe that it is kind of a very closer level for sure. Okay. The other aspect, I think, strong in the lightweight part, we, we can, we, uh, in our testing environment, it can launch uh, within 150 milliseconds. 150 and, milliseconds to launch. Exactly, wow. and also the footprint, it is also about 15 megabyte. Okay. So it is very lightweight and yet provide a strong isolation. So Super this, lightweight. So compare that lightweight to say QMU, KVM, Kata. Yes, so there are uh, existing approaches like you, the ones that you mentioned. Uh, if you, you, you can definitely put the container inside a virtual machine to provide a very strong isolation. Okay. The one is that what GVisor is? It is actually very similar, but if you look into the detail where you can look, please look at the blog, it actually is how it highlights the key differences there. Okay. But in a nutshell, the virtual machine, uh, you actually need to run like QM, you know, uh, device simulator and also the guest kernel. Mm. Therefore, the footprint plus also the attacking surface is still significant sure. enough. GVisor took a, a little bit different approach where you trap the system calls and then uh, provide a, multiple layers of security. This is, I think, the great part of the GVisor. Yeah, interesting. So do you actually run a kernel inside of the GVisor? machine? It is a very tricky question, uh -huh. so I strongly recommend going to the blog. Okay. It's a very uh, novel and innovative approach, okay. so I think it's worth Sys calls are being trapped, though? Yes. And those are being executed by the host the host kernel? Actually, so uh, there is a guest user LAN kernel oh, okay. that will drive that system. Micro kernel. Kernel. Is it not a micro kernel from a technical, <laughs> uh, technical perspective? But it is, again, it's a very new approach. It's very creative. Okay. Um, uh, we also reached out to the Kata container community about sure. this. They were also very um, welcome. Okay. And as you can see in the blog post, we also got the quotes from their team. So I think- You uh, think there's an opportunity for the two projects to, to really come together and advance the state of the art? I think that is the most exciting part. Like uh, if this field is so important for our ecosystem and taking different approaches is definitely going to advance the field altogether. So that is the most exciting part of why we're open sourcing and how what we look for toward the future. And if someone wants to get started with this, what's the best place to get started? So we also have a get, getting started uh, section in our blog, uh, but certainly, yes, uh, going from, from GitHub, you can download the, the source code. Uh, GVisor is uh, implemented OCI, therefore mm -hmm. it runs on uh, with Kubernetes and oh, Docker. Great. So you could, if you're interested, just go to GitHub and try it out. 
So it's another runtime that Kubernetes supports exactly. or will support. It is, uh, so the runtime itself or command is called run SC, which is uh, where you can replace the existing run C uh, okay. and drop in replacement. Okay. So should be, if you're familiar with uh, those concepts, you should be able to run it very quickly. Sure. And if I do this, can I run some containers in the same Kubernetes uh, with run C and some containers in run at a run SC context. Right now, the Kubernetes community, especially in SIG node, we're specifying the high level API called Sandbox. Okay. So until that gets into Kubernetes, you may have to set up some manual points to control that. But we believe that integration is going to come to come to the Kubernetes world very quickly. That's great. That's great. So I've got a question for you. Yes. How did you get started in Kubernetes? It's a great question. I will say two points. Mm -hmm. um, when I joined Google, uh, I was very excited about the internal system called Borg. Okay. So Kubernetes, uh, like based off of Borg or derived from Borg, is some kind of a way that I got uh, more, uh, got, got, got the knowledge after okay. getting Google. Okay. The other aspect, which is interesting, is because is before joining Kubernetes team, I went to Tokyo. One of my friends were saying, I'm using Kubernetes. <laughs> I actually didn't know about Kubernetes at the time. So that was how I learned about Kubernetes in 2017. Interesting. And another question for sure. you. Uh, you're involved in the Kubernetes community. Yep. Certainly encounter a lot, mm -hmm. of, uh, a lot of people in our very large and mm -hmm. open community. Um, can you tell us a few of the people that inspire you, the, that, that you find yourself uh, working with and being super impressed and appreciative of. Absolutely. Um, a little bit hesitating to uh, highlight my colleague <laughs> at Google, but it is definitely the truth. So uh, Don Chen has been uh, super, has been inspiring me quite a bit. Mm -hmm. I work with her on uh, Gvisor and also various uh, Kubernetes node stuff. She has a very technical, a strong and visionary technical insight and also a very good communication. So it's just a joy to work with her. Ah, well, great. Yoshi, thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much, Yeah, Domo arigato. Domo arigato. <laughs>